I, Amit Sharma, welcome you all to my channel, Mathematical Coaching Center. So today we'll do linear inequation. So from this chapter, you'll get one question that carries three or four marks. So before starting this chapter, you have to know some of the terms. So let's see. So what you'll do in this chapter? So in this, we'll will learn how to solve the linear inequation and in one variable in your syllabus there is only one variable one variable means either it will be x or either it will be y and how to represent this in a number line so first you have to know natural number so natural number you can see the sign is your n so in exam they will give you x belongs to n okay so simple so n means your natural number so what is it natural number so counting numbers are natural numbers so which you use one two three four five so okay so counting numbers are natural number so now you can see here natural number is also given there whole number is also given there so natural number this starts from one two three four five okay if it added zero also if we'll add zero also then we will call it as whole number so let's see whole number so whole number is represented by w okay so in exam you'll get x belongs to w so w means your whole number so what is whole number whole number is simply a natural number only but including zero so we'll have to add zero also so zero one two three four okay so if you'll add zero then it's your whole number so as it is you can see here in the figure so it's zero from zero it's whole number and one two three is your natural number now you should know what is integer so integers it's represented by either i or z so you can see there integers either i or z so in exam you'll get x belongs to i or z so i or z you have to know that it's your integer so what is integer is that so you can see there it's negative is also there and the positive is also there and zero is also there okay so this is your integer so in, in integers we can include negative numbers also positive numbers also and even zero also so you can see in the figure so you can see negative if it is negative then we call it as negative integer if it is positive then it's called as positive integer all this number line the number minus four minus three minus two one zero one two three four all are your integers so zero you know everyone that is neither positive it's neither negative okay now you have to know what is real number so real number is represented by r okay so in exams you'll get r so r means you have to know that it's a real number so you can see that real number is the number continuous number line with no gap means natural number is also real number rational irrational number okay so you can see all the numbers are real number so you can see in this set what happens is that the big set whatever you, you are seeing is the real okay and the natural number is also subset whole number is also subset rational number is also sub, subset of real number real algebraic is also subset of real number so while doing numerical you'll know more about the real number now let's revise it so what you can see here in this figure natural number natural number counting number one two three four five so all are natural number whole number means natural number including zero so zero one two three four five so integers integers the negative integer also positive integer also you can see minus six minus five everything zero one two three four five continuously it's called as a integers and real number line so whatever you see this whole line this is only real number line so let's start linear inequation so already you have done linear equation the simultaneous linear equation so what does this linear inequation what is the difference between linear equation and the linear inequation so everyone you know so linear so when you see that it's written linear you can see that first four later what is written there line so linear represents when you'll make this it forms a line okay so so this equation will form a line so let's do linear equation so what does its linear equation mean so already we have done so linear equation so you can see an example i had given 2x minus 3 is equal to 8 so there is x this x is called as variable there is only one x so this we call as linear equation in one variable okay so you can see here what is there equals to sign is there now let's go to the another equation so you can see here 3x plus 4y equals to 9. In this also there is equals to sine. 
so that means in linear equation we'll have equals to sign okay so therefore equals to sign will be there in your linear equation and it will form a line if you plot in a graph it will form a line so now let's do now what is linear in equation so to know linear in equation so let's see the example you can see example 2x minus 3 is greater than 8 so can you see the sign greater than in this there was equals to sign so there is greater than sign so now let's see next example in this also 3x plus 4y less than 9 okay, in this there is equals to sign this also represents line only but there is some rule it represents in this okay there is a some when you make a graph in a <clears throat> like this suppose this is a line suppose this will go away towards the this or away from this okay so no need to know just you you should know this greater than and the less than sign so in this chapter there will be four sign number one you can see less than sign number two greater than sign number three so you can see here less than is also there and one line down there this means is less than or equal to so you have to know this less than or equal to next we have you can see here greater than and line one line is there again so greater than or equals to so you have to know this so hope so you got the difference between linear equation and the linear equation so in equation there is equals to sign in linear in equation there will be this four types of sign will be there so while doing some you will see that this type of sign will be there. x belongs to this means belongs to this sign means belongs to suppose this is your n n means your natural number suppose it's if it will be i or it will be z this is your integers and r is your real number okay and now we have w w is your whole number so let us solve this question so what the question says you can see here find the value of x which satisfies the in equation so you can see minus 2 less than equals to 1 by 2 minus 2x by 3 less than equals to 1 5 upon 6 and you can see here x belongs to n so what does that n means n means natural number so it's in equation you can see the sign less than equals to and the side is also less than equals to so you can see there is only x in your syllabus there is only for one variable so in exam you'll get either x or either y so this carries four marks okay so you can see here the side it has been come in icc 2001 so let's solve this question in a easy way so obviously you know that first step we'll write the given in equation so what they had given is that so minus 2 less than equals to 1 by 2 minus 2x by 3 less than equals to 1 5 upon 6 and x belongs to n so now let's start this sum now you can see here they had given in a mixed fraction so we'll make it in fraction so minus 2 less than equals to 1 by 2 same as it is 2x by 3 less than equals to 6 1 just 6 6 plus 5 is 11 by 6 now in this sum who is disturbing us is that fraction is disturbing us so which one so you can you have to do the lcm of 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 lcm will come 6 now what you will do is that in the next step we'll multiply by 6 everywhere we'll multiply by 6 first we'll do the lcm of 2 and 3 so lcm of 2 and 3 will be 2 and 3 will be 6 now what you'll do we'll multiply by 6 we'll multiply by multiply by 6 you have to write this eh? so now 6 into minus 2 in the bracket less than 6 you have to multiply this also this also 6 1 by 2 minus 6 2x by 3 less than equals to 6 11 by 6 there is another way also you can do lcm then cross multiply it's very lengthy method and it's complicated also simple what you will do is in this method it's very easy simple find the lcm and just multiply it so now you know why it's easy this method so now you can see 6 minus 6 into 2 is your 12 now see 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 so how much i got 3 this also will get cancelled 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 2 2s are 4x now less than 11 so can you see so now what happens is that it's in a linear form straight form so now it's easy no fraction and all now 
what you have to do is that you have to make x alone so whatever is disturbing us you have to eliminate that so here is 4x so who is disturbing us 3 is disturbing us so now we have to eliminate this 3 here is plus 3 so to eliminate this i will do minus 3 so see minus 12 minus 3 3 minus 4x minus 3 less than 11 minus 3 so what i am doing is that you can write adding minus 3 to all side also adding minus 3 or subtracting 3 because adding is the same yes or no or you can write subtracting subtracting 3 so this is your left hand side middle hand side and the right hand side so now minus minus is plus 12 minus 12 plus 3 is minus 15 now see you can see 3 3 get cancelled okay now here is minus 4x less than 8 no now who is disturbing us is that minus is disturbing us so now next step is your multiply by multiply by minus so when you multiply by minus now you can see here the sign has been changed so minus minus is plus so it's your 15 so minus minus again it's plus so it's your 4x and this minus plus is your minus so can you see the sign has been interchanged here the sign has been interchanged here so you can see here now you can see here the sign has been changed yes or no so see the sign has been changed it's less it's this the side is less than now it has been greater than so whenever you multiply by minus the sign will be changed why this i'll show you here so you can see here suppose i have a number so minus 2 and i have with this side suppose i have 8 so can you see me which one is bigger obviously it is bigger yeah obviously it is bigger now when i'll multiply minus suppose if i'll multiply by minus what will be multiply by multiply by minus so when i'll multiply by minus now see this will be minus minus plus so this will be a 2 and this will be a minus 8 so what happened now which one is bigger 2 is bigger so the sign will be changed whenever you will multiply or when you will divide by minus whenever the sign changes the sign this also changes so hope so you got it so now similarly you can see here what happened in this question so it was minus i am multiplying minus so this sign will be changed so greater than equals to this side is also less than equals to so it will be greater than equals to okay so now let's now who is disturbing us i said you that we have to make x alone so who is disturbing us 4 is disturbing us so now what we will do is that we will divide this side also 4 this also 4 with this also 4 now you can see i am dividing it okay so now this 4 4 will get cancelled 4 1s are 4 4 2 now this will not get cancelled so it will be you know mixed fraction so 15 divided by 4 4 3s are 12 so how much i got how much will be 3 so i got 3 3 upon 4 greater than equals to x so this side is your minus 2 now whenever you will write the answer always write the smaller number on the left hand side so which one is smaller minus 2 so minus 2 you will write in the left hand side less than equals to x 3 3 upon 4 okay because if you'll see in a number line also the at the left side it's smaller number and the at the right side is your greater number you know now you'll i'll show you in a number line only now before doing this before writing this solution set first you'll make the number line first you'll try to make a number line so how we'll make take a scale and uh, measure one centimeter then mark it zero one two so since here is three three by four just you can make i have make till eight you can just make one two extra this side also one two extra so now you can see minus two so where does this minus two lies so minus two lies this side minus two is here so you can see minus minus two is this side and what do you have three three by four so three three by four means it will lie somewhere here three three by four lies somewhere here. so i'll write here minus 2 and this is your 3 3 by 4 okay so it slides here but now you know that what they had given in the question is that the it's the question is had said the natural number the question had said the natural number so natural number means counting number are natural number so that means the answer will lie between minus 2 and this so can you say me which one is the natural number can you show me the natural number so minus 2 is not natural number minus 1 is also not natural number. 0 mm -hmm. so which one is natural number 1 so i'll make a circle there 
2 yes 2 is my natural number 3 is also my natural number I can't cross this line and this line because they had given we got the answer minus 2 to this okay so we can't cross so I got the answer 1 2 3 I can't take this 0 minus 1 and minus 2 also if it would be integers if it be integer so we can take this but since the question they had given us in natural number they had given us in natural number so because of that I have to take only natural number so natural numbers are counting numbers so I got the answer what I got 1 2 3 so this is my solution set so this is my final answer so this carries 4 marks so you will get full 4 upon 4 okay